Here again, we begin at the 3-4 point. And again, as in the last video, white moves in with a one-point jump approach. As before, black defends her corner with a knight's closure, pressing up against white. This time, however, white chooses to form an iron pillar shape above black's stones at the 4-4 point. Black mirrors white along the third line, sealing off the right side. White then bends around black's initial stone to the third line. This is known as the avalanche method, called nadare joseki in Japanese. Play cannot end here, as black is left vulnerable to cutting at the 3-3 point. Black has four main points to choose from for the next play. So you may seal the crack at the 3-3 point, make white nervous by overshadowing the pillar, extend her own wall along the third line, or even reach out round white with a double diagonal along the second line. The simplest expression of this play is very linear in nature. Black solidifies at the weak 3-3 point, and white strengthens her wall along the fourth line. To keep from being swallowed by the avalanche, black jumps outward along the third line one point. From here, depending on which direction white wishes to develop, she may choose the hanging connection, called kake tsugi in Japanese, along the bottom fourth line, or leap upward to the fifth line on the right side with a knight's move. Either way, white has good prospects toward the center, and black has built a very solid corner estate. Another method, called the small avalanche joseki, has black ignoring the cutting point, and instead making a diagonal move to the fourth line above white's pillar. White happily exploits black's weak spot, entering the corner. Black extends to avoid capture, and white plays the key point at 3-2. This threatens capture of either the, of black's structures in the next move. An interesting move here for black is to create an empty triangle on the second line. This hints at capture for all of white's stones. White prevents black from cutting by building a trap with a hanging connection on the fourth line. Notice that black still has a weak point on the right side that should be addressed. The big avalanche method, called the O Nabere in Japanese, has black extending her wall along the third line. This is not nearly as aggressive as the small avalanche method, so white may not even respond immediately. If she does, it may be to simply seal off the left side by forming a tiger's mouth shape on the second line. And after black connects, to make the hanging connection on the fourth line. And finally, black can choose to make some sacrifices below for a chance to take the whole corner. We have called it the sneaky avalanche. By making the double diagonal to the second line, black is just asking to be cut. If white does take the bait, then a shape may form which allows black the chance to swallow the whole enchilada. If white does not respond to black's position in the 13th move, then only careful playing will allow white to escape. As you can see, White's starting off the basic avalanche joseki tends to offer black a decent amount of territory inside in return for a wall facing the center. These are several possible ways for the game to progress around a 3-4 stone. Please view our other videos for more examples.
post questions, suggestions, and helpful video responses to stimulate discussion and learning. Thanks so much.